Hey everybody, this is Lisa Bennett here um, and I'm making this video because I had a number of people asking me about how I've set up my home office with the Osmo projector or using it as a document camera. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through that. Um, this is the Osmo and there's my iPad. This is the little reflector piece and that's the base. So uh, it just comes with the base and this reflector if you're just going to buy the base. It does come with some amazing games as well if you buy the starter kit and that's what I did a number of years ago when Osmo was first um, out on the market. So I'm going to set that up there. I'm going to go to my computer. I'm actually got two screens going. Um, I have my Mac laptop um, sharing with my home computer screen. So I'm actually going to go ahead and at this point I've got Zoom is open and I'm going to go ahead and click on share screen. And when I click on share screen, I'm going to want to go ahead and click on iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. So once I do that, a message is going to come up on the screen that says on your phone or iPad connect to a Wi-Fi. So what I have to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my iPad and I'm going to go ahead and click on the app that says Osmo Projector. So this is the new app that they came forward with um, during uh, the pandemic. They realized that a lot of teachers could use their Osmos as a document camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it opens up Osmo and you'll notice that it does have this little red line underneath and that's just to make sure that you put your uh, reflector in the right place. You're going to go ahead and click on start and that's it. Now you can see uh, my hand is mirrored um, and well my hand is here however nothing's changed here. So what I really need to do right now is just scroll down a little bit on my iPad and right here where it says screen mirroring, I'm going to click on screen mirroring and I want it to connect to my LIUSD laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and over here you will see my hand and now you're seeing it on the screen. So I have a whiteboard here so I'm going to go ahead and write on the whiteboard. Hello to everyone and you can see I'm writing it down here. Um, We'll do a little heart for all of our special ed teachers. Uh, shout out to special ed. And as you can see from a distance, you can see that I'm writing over here and the students are going to see it on their screen just like this. So this is what the students view will be. OK, um, and this is my view, obviously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just erase that and they can see me doing that. Um, and of course, it doesn't have to be a whiteboard. Uh, you saw in my video on the news um, article that I was doing uh, some writing. So I can put my writing notebook here and I can just say, you know, um, hi, everyone. And as I'm writing, they can see it on their screen. OK, so the only downside to this is the fact that there is no Zoom feature on it. I can't just um, go ahead and do a, a Zoom on this. So that is a little bit of a downside, which is why I definitely did like using the whiteboard when it came to doing maybe practicing some sight words or something like that, because obviously I could, oh, my pens run out, of course, but you get the idea. I could do something um, here. Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to do right now. I was meant to do a consonant vowel consonant, but now my pens decided to run out. So let me see if I can use a different pen. So. What's nice about this is I could do this, show this on the screen, have my students shout out or tell me what the missing vowel is if we're working on the ah sound. Um, you can do all kinds of things. I've done it with um, doing flat, fact fluency. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and stop your share. You'll notice that the stop share um, is down here on my laptop because I'm doing the dual screen. I'm going to go ahead and stop share. And that's it. And then you're done. So I hope that's helpful.